What's up everybody, I'm Jason. Um, I'm not quite sure what I wanna call this video. It's not a vlog, it's not part of a bigger project. Um, it's kind of a public service announcement, I guess. So I have for a long time been a user of SanDisk's UHS-1 SD cards. Uh, they're cheap, they're fast, and as long as I've been using a 5D Mark IV, which doesn't use have a US Chess 2 slot, they're basically the fastest card that I can put in the camera, and uh, they can shoot 4K video on the 5D Mark IV just fine, they can shoot uh, 1080p obviously just fine, and by and large for shooting video, what's more important is having space, not having the fastest cards in the world. Anyway, uh, for a while now, SanDisk has been marketing these cards as having a 170 megasecond read speed when used with a compatible SanDisk SD card reader. And basically that's meant nothing to me because I not I have uh, I've had an I think it's an A data or a transcend or something like that UHS or UH USB3 it's a UHS2 compatible reader I believe uh, that CF SD blah 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 covers all of the stuff that I need to read and I just wasn't interested in buying a new card reader for the sake of buying a new card reader That was until I got an EOS R5, and that was until I got a CF Express card for the EOS R5 because you can't shoot 4K, 120 frame per second video, or 8K RAW video, not that I really care that much about 8K RAW video, without a CF Express card. And so what I did is I bought a uh, ProGrade CF Express card. I don't have an awful lot to say about the card. It works at storage, it's memory, I don't really care that much beyond that. Uh, but I also brought, bought to go with that because I need a way to read the CF Express card. I bought a ProGrade SD and CF Express card reader. Now, nowhere on ProGrade's site do they advertise this as being compatible with the 170 megasecond transfer mode of the SanDisk uh, UHS-1 cards. Uh, nowhere does SanDisk say that this reader is compatible with their cards. However, lo and behold, to my surprise, plugging in a, SA, uh, uh, one of these SanDisk UHS-1 170 megasecond cards and copying something from my camera to my computer, I'm getting 170 megasecond downloads. Now, obviously, the card doesn't give you faster than that writes in the camera. That's not how it works. But being able to download at 170 megaseconds instead of 95 megasecond, well, that's kind of useful. So what I'm saying here is public service tip, a message, whatever you want to call it, part one or point one. If you're looking for a well-built, pretty slick USB type C, uh, 3.1 Gen 2 slash 3.2 Gen whatever. I have, I have no idea what the heck USB standards anything are is anymore. It is just a confusing mess. But anyway, a very slick SD card reader. Uh, now I can't speak for all of ProGrade's readers. The they have a dual SD card reader that may or may not work this way. But from my experience with the 128 and 256 gig. UHS-1 cards that I've thrown at this reader, it will read the SanDisk cards at the full 170 megasecond or thereabouts uh, download speed. So that's point one, or public service announcement number one. Public service message number two is if you have a 95 megasecond SanDisk UHS-1 SD card, you may also be able to read those at 170 megasecond uh, into or through this reader to your computer. They are not advertised this way. I ran across this when I was Googling to see if there was some article or something about these card readers and or how SanDisk does this and what, where, how, and when it is supported. And I ran across a website that basically said the they were seeing 170 megasecond downloads from 64 or, or um, 95 megasecond labeled cards. 
and I have two of those 64 gig ones. And so I plugged one of those into my reader and attempted to download data from it. And I got 170-ish. Oh, it's, it's never quite full speed, obviously. Uh, but I got very near the 170 megasecond that that was adver or that isn't even advertised on those cards. So, with the right reader, you may be may, may be able to get way better than advertised performance, at least for downloads to your computer, and at least assuming you have a USB whatever uh, port, you may be able to get. Uh, way better than advertised performance out of your SanDisk cards. Now, this does not apply to all of SanDisk's cards. I also have, for my GoPro, a set of 128 gig micro SD cards that are Extreme Pros. And I tried those in, a, in the provided adapter that they come with, and they did not work at 170 megasecond. They only made it to about 90, 95 megasecond. So it is not guaranteed, but you may find yourself pleasantly surprised with this specific reader, the, the, the ProGrade CF Express Type B and SD card reader. At least that's the only one that I've, I, oh, it's the only reader I have of theirs, but it's the only one I've tested so far. And SanDisk's UHS-1 Extreme Pro cards that are labeled either 95 megasecond or 170 megasecond on the card. So I hope that uh, I hope that uh, is interesting or helpful or maybe pushes you in the right direction if you're looking for a card, new card reader or something like that. Uh, give it a shot. Now, obviously, none of this is advertised, and so if it doesn't work for you, don't come back and blame me. I'm just reporting something that I have found worked for me. Uh, so with that said, if you liked this video, found it useful or informative, please smash that like button. Please consider subscribing. I don't have a regular posting schedule, although I do try to get a video out once every week or two, uh, so you may want to hit that notification bell and to be notified when I post a video instead of just hoping that it shows up in a feed somewhere. Uh, also, please consider sharing this with your friends or whoever you know that might find it useful. It would help immensely. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.